Tell me, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And by the way, you know, I got a lot of, I got hairy legs. And I love kids jumping on my lap. If you have a problem, then you ain't black. Uh, about, um, uh, about What's up everybody? It's your girl back for another video. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the war against our American men in this country. Our American men are under attack. They're being disrespected. They're being torn down. It's damn near a crime in this country to be a healthy, masculine, heterosexual man. But before I get into that, a message from my sponsor. Gold just made history. Just like Bloomberg predicted, gold is over $2,000 an ounce. Bank of America says it'll get to 3,000 in 18 months. Thomas Kaplan predicted a 10 year bull run could push gold past $5,000 an ounce. Silver is joining the rally too. It surged to its highest since 2013 at just under $30 per ounce. This is no surprise to the team at Noble Gold. But if it surprised you, and you're sick of low returns and volatility from stocks, it's time you look at precious metals. The team at Noble Gold will find the perfect plan that works for you. Choose precious metals for your IRA or 401k this month, and you may receive a free five ounce silver America the Beautiful coin. This offer is for qualified IRAs and 401ks, so call 877-646-5347 to see if you qualify for this amazing offer. Protect your future. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com. Again, that's noblegoldinvestments.com. Our men are under attack and the, the disrespect for our men. You know, all the contributions our men have made throughout history, all the things that they've done, to dismiss that and demonize that, I mean, is absolutely sick. This progressive left is, I mean, they're nothing more than Marxists. And it's only going to get worse, y'all. We have roughly 90 days until the next election. Things are going to get way worse than it is now. And that's hard to fathom because it's already pretty bad. You know, the average woman thinks she's a man. She thinks that she needs to be masculine. She thinks that, you know, she wants to be more like men. She thinks she is a man. And a lot of these average young men growing up today think they have to be feminine. You know, because a lot of these young men today have jumped on the bandwagon, the anti-man bandwagon, and they're fighting the war against our American men as well. Um, and it's mainly because a lot of these young men are coming from college campuses where they're being indoctrinated with feminism, liberalism, and Marxism. So, but to demonize and dismiss the contributions our men have made, I mean, think about it. Men have been building, maintaining, and protecting our civilization for centuries and centuries and centuries. Like, it's, it's despicable to spit in their faces and say that you don't need a man for anything. Men have never done anything for you. And, you know, like these women in politics today, like Elizabeth Warren, Maxine Waters, AOC, uh, just to name a few, but y'all know who I'm talking about. They've all made these type of comments that they don't need men for anything. Men have never done anything for society. Men, you know, and then the things that women actually have done, they, they feel belittled by that. They don't want any uh, appreciation for giving birth to the next generation or giving birth to all these amazing men out there that protected us in the wars and built bridges and, and, and did all the things that men have done. There's a woman behind every one of those Man, a woman went through the horrible pain of giving birth to every one of those men. But women, they look at that as you're belittling them. They look at that as, oh God, I could do way more than that. But that's literally like a superpower. That's an amazing thing that women, that women do. And let me tell y'all, I've given birth three times. It ain't easy. I've done a lot of things in my life, but the pain I went through to have my children... It was not easy, okay? It takes a hell of a woman to go through something like that. You know, we're built, we're built out of something so amazing to be able to endure like that and go through something like that. And that's after being pregnant for nine months. That's like feeling like, a, like you're hung over or have the flu for nine months and you're gaining 50 pounds along with it. Not easy, but women don't wanna be appreciated for that. They look at that as you're belittling them. 
What women want now, these feminists, they want the power of a man, they want the privilege of a woman, and the responsibility of neither. That's what they want. And it's sick, y'all, and it's only gonna get worse. And these, these Marxist liberals, these far left progressive liberals have taken over just about every aspect of our society. They're, they've taken over um, you know, the entertainment industry, Hollywood. They've taken over sports. They've taken over our school system. You know, and then women abandon their posts at home, running their households and raising our children. And now the children are being raised by strangers and they're being indoctrinated in schools as early as four years old. And uh, they, they've done everything they can to destroy people, destroy the family, confuse women, confuse men, turn men and women against each other, turn black and white Americans against each other and it's working and they're getting away with it. We have to wake people up and fight against it. So um, another thing I wanted to bring up was, you know, for me, my grandfather and grandmother raised me and I called my grandfather Papa. My dad always tried to show his face and come around. My biological mother bailed on me when I was born and never came back. So my grandmother raised me as her own, she's my mom and my papa, I call them papa. And they've been married for almost 50 years and they are an amazing couple. All of the amazing things that I've accomplished, everything I've done and the woman I am today is attributed to them and them alone. They've instilled everything in me. And that's why I'm the person I am. It's because of them and the way they raised us. You know, my papa, was a proud patriarch, a proud husband and father, head of household. My mom, me, and my sisters all respected my papa. Like if we had a bad attitude or were not listening or something, we didn't act like that when papa was around. We all honored our papa and dad and we, you know, respected him. I never got out of line with my papa ever. I always respected him and cared about you know, him being proud of my accomplishments. I still want to make him proud to this day. And he was the most hardworking man. Like he knew how to do everything. His skill set is amazing. He knew how to work on cars. He knew how to build homes. He was a carpenter and had a small business. He was so responsible and hardworking. And he taught me the value of following through, um, doing things the right way, never giving up and being very thorough when I do things. And it's, he's taught me all of that. You know, he knew how to hunt, fish. Um, he knows how to do everything. And he always knew how to fix everything. And my mom, my grandma too, she knew how to sew and make clothes and make curtains and blankets. And she could cook anything and she could multitask. And she handled everything with us girls growing up. We put her through a lot. <laughs> Uh, you know, she had after school activities. I was in baseball and sports. My sisters were in dancing. Like she was all over the place. She managed it all. And she was always in the kitchen late at night making us a hot plate when we got home. And she never complained about any of it. Just amazing people. And to disrespect all the contributions men have made, these women all have fathers, grandfathers. And, you know, just all the contributions men made by protecting us in the wars. You know, they're the reason that these women can get all suited up in their expensive clothes and have their stupid opinions on TV in the first place. They're protected by male bodyguards, male security teams. You know, they want to defund the police. That's, you know, mostly male. It used to be predominantly male. Um, it's mostly men that are protecting them. And yet they, they want to say they don't need men and they want to spit in men's faces and say they don't need men for anything. Um, it's absolutely crazy, y'all. But I will see y'all back on my next video. Bye. Come on, man. And I love kids jumping on my butt. Come on, man. And I love kids jumping on my butt. Come on, man. Jump, jump, jump. And I love kids jumping on my butt.